Murph, obviously a pretty close result. Uh, disappointed. What's the current mood amongst the group? Yeah, it's um, oh, it's shattering. Like we we're building and um, to get so close. Last week it felt like we had a really good chance, and today um, felt like it was there to win, and, and obviously we didn't. So it's absolutely gutting in the in the rooms. Yeah. Nixie came in post game and had a chat to you guys. What was his message? Um, it, it's definitely not intent. It's not you know love for each other because that's there. Uh, all the boys love each other. We're really strong in that area, but um, obviously the polish, skill, execution, and, and we'll keep training that. We probably had a subpar um, training session on the, on Thursday or Wednesday, whenever it was. So um, sort of that was coming into the game, and because we had a, enough opportunities, so. To, to not capitalise on those opportunities and to just fall short, it, um, it's, it hurts. So obviously there's that, those are the RFIs and the areas to improve this week. Uh, come back and train, train harder. Is that sort of the message that came through? Yeah, it's, we've been training hard for a, a good chunk of the year now, so it's almost just taking a bit more pride with, with the skill execution and um, what extras are we doing. So Because when we're in close games like that, that's when it comes out. So um, well, we've got to keep going just as hard as we're going on the track. It's just, you know making sure we're doing our extra kicks, extra handballs, and that'll flow out onto a game. Some of the younger guys really stood up today. Andrew McPherson, Will Hamill, Fisher Mackesy offered a fair bit up forward. Can you talk us through those guys and uh, what you thought of their games? Yeah, um, all three really exciting players, and it's good. I, I guess um, losing is just horrible, but um, to see these guys come in and, and do a great role for us. So Will's really exciting. Um, Mack has just gone from stride to stride from this year and um, and obviously Fish playing, starting back, coming up forward. So he's competing really strong ahead of the footy. Um, so it's good and, and obviously it's devastating with Tommy and Brad coming out. But um, you know, hopefully it gives a chance for some young guys to come back in. How hard was that with those two guys on the bench for most of the second half? Did it impact anything? Obviously rotations and the like, but what were the sort of takeouts from that? Yeah. It probably don't feel like it's hurting you, but it probably it does. And or, I mean, the quality of players that we we lost to, obviously two of our top players. But um, to be able to so play with 20 for two and a half quarters and and get really close was a really really good sign. And I think that shows that our love and care for each other is there. Like we're given 110 percent, but um, it does make it a bit harder on, on the legs, obviously. And so yeah, it's devastating to see those two guys out uh, go out. But yeah, two new guys can come in. You say you can take a lot out of that character of the group. I think third, midway through the third quarter, seven points, 17 points down, Essendon kicked three in a row, but to fight back from there in the situation is uh, obviously pleasing. Yeah, I think that's the positive. Um, you know, a few times that they got to run on and the character of the group, as I was saying, we're really strong. Um, we all love each other at the moment. So to be able to not drop the head and still come back and come back, and obviously we just fell short, um, which is obviously disappointing, but the positive is that we, we dug in, we, we stayed there and we're not far away. Individually came back after a couple of weeks out uh, suspension and then uh, left out last week. Must be pleased to kick a couple of goals, get on the score sheet and impact the game. Yeah, I haven't had a, a great start of the season. I'm not going to sh shy away from that. Um, so probably you know getting suspended was obviously, obviously a bit frustrating, but it's, you know, I obviously got left out, went around the twos last week and just felt a bit more free, felt like uh, less pressure. So got my hands on the footy and be able to come back in and put in a performance. Personally, it's really nice, but... Look, it's not enough, and, and I really just love to win her. So it's it's positive that I can play some good footy, but um, yeah, I just want to do a bit more so I can help you know get a win. Your first game back in front of a home crowd this year, uh, after you kicked that third goal five minutes ago, brought us within a kick. Must have been pretty uh, loud out there from the fans and members. Yeah, the members and fans here are absolutely unbelievable. So even last week when we had a chance and. I think actually this morning when I woke up, I was just like, oh, we're playing in front of fans again. Like I missed out last week, and I, that was the most gutting thing. Like playing in front of our fans is just incredible. So you know, it felt like a full house in there when I keep that going the last. But um, yeah, the support from the fans is absolutely incredible. So just stick with us, and you know, we're not far off. Your shoulders iced up, uh, nothing to worry about? No, all good. I, I did tape them, but they're all strong now. It was just a little bit of a yank back by Saad, so it's all good just to ice it. Saad is obviously a very good player. How did you find that battle? Yeah, it, exceptional player, um, real quick, um, obviously really smart when they got the ball. So had a little bit of a job just to try and nullify his impact, um, which is, I felt was good because he kind of took me to the footy a bit. Um, and I felt like at certain times I could beat him back. Um, but he's an A-class player, so to be able to go head-to-head -head on him and, and kick a few goals was, was quite nice.
six day break into North Melbourne next week up at, uh, in, in, on the Gold Coast. What's the plan from here? What's the week look like? Yeah, um, and obviously everyone knows that next month or the next four games is really tough. So six days into four days. So um, lots of recovery. We'll still train hard during the week, um, tidy up on those skills and that polish, but it's more recovery, getting that body right, um, and then we can attack the weekend or whatever day we play, um, you know, really fit and really healthy and really strong. Just lastly, a word on Texas game. He was a uh, presence up there and taking clunks, uh, kicking goals. Must be good to see him back in form. Yeah, it's outstanding. And he's just got that aura, that presence about him. Obviously, a really, really big fella. Um, his competition today was outstanding. And then he gets the reward with a few lead up uh, goals. So that was good. Elliot's presence was really good. Same as Fish. So, um, you know, that mix in the four lines changing a little bit. But the more entries that we're getting, we're starting to see a, a bit more flair from the forward. So that's, that's good. Thanks for your time, mate. Thanks, guys.